<laughs> kind of a strange day we had today because yeah. it was cold in the morning, stayed a little chilly, but the sun did come out. It's, it's beautiful out, yeah, but it's, nice. uh, it's, it's a little deceiving, right? Temperatures this morning started in the 30s for most in North Texas, and now we only have a couple of spots that have gotten into the low 60s when we should be around 72 for this time of year. 58 degrees at DFW, a north wind at 8 miles an hour, gusting to 16 miles an hour, though. So it's breezy out there. 54, the coolest spot right now you see in Bowie and Gainesville. All the way to Hillsboro at 61. I know Mesquite was around 61, and Tyler reporting in at 60 degrees, though a little farther east of us. So, just kind of looking at your hourly forecast, we keep the sunshine around. Wind isn't too strong as we go through this, uh, go into this evening, but temperatures we're not warming up much in the next hour, and then by seven o'clock down into the mid 50s, it is going to be another chilly start to your Wednesday. I don't think we have the concern for some patchy frost like we did earlier this morning to the north, but you see Gaines. Bonham, Paris around 36, Sherman forecast low of 37, same for Denton. We may see the low 40s hold on in Fort Worth and Dallas, and then the farther south you are of I-20, you see low 40s, but it is still very chilly, well below normal, worthy of that jacket. Uh, we'll have a couple of spots with wind chills in the upper 30s by 7 a.m. 10 o'clock in the morning, you've got temperatures to about 50 degrees, still feeling like the mid 40s, and then into the afternoon, at least we're getting into the mid 60s, but you notice some isolated rain rain chances, 20% coverage for isolated showers and storms as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So just through tonight, we'll notice more cloud cover kind of building in, partly cloudy skies to start off your Wednesday. Maybe an isolated shower as we go through mid to late morning, but it's after that 2, 3 o'clock time frame where we want to start to watch out to the west. A couple of storms may be able to get going. If they get going, they'll likely intensify kind of quickly. So here we are just between 5.30 and 6 o'clock in the evening. We've got a couple of stronger storms with hail and winds being the main threats. But as quickly as they intensified, uh, they weaken and kind of move a little farther to the south and to the east. So uh, we'll certainly watch, I think, western portions of Tarrant County, Denton County. But you notice by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, you've just got some light showers that are weakening as they move through Navarro County, Henderson, and Anderson County. So a level one Marginal risk it does include a good bit of Tarrant County, a little bit of Dallas County as well, uh, but the higher threat probably the farther west you are. And again, this is still pretty low as far as what we're expecting overall. You can see that threat kind of extending into central Texas down the 35 corridor through uh, Waco, Temple, Colleen, just to the north of Austin. Then we get to Thursday. We have no threats of rain. It will be beautiful for the Rangers opening day. Sunny temperatures topping out around 71, and we get the 80s back for this weekend, guys.